Geography, as you already know, is the study of man and his environment. That is, the study of man in relationship to his world. Now, why do you study geography then? Why is it important to study geography? It is important to study geography because if we want to know the relationship between man and his world, we must try to find out how man tries to make use of the land. Now, if we happen to just uh, walk around in this particular area of Masabi, you may find that in fact geography has a very great influence of the, on the people. And the people themselves are trying to alter the geography in one way or another. Until recently, Masabit town was little more than a trading center for the several tribes whose territories meet in this area. But now it is linked by a newly constructed permanent road to Nairobi. Marsabit has become the administrative center of northern Kenya, a place where the values of national unity are represented by government officers, such as a district commissioner, and by secondary and primary schools. The school is supported by taxes, by donations, and by fees. The primary school headmaster, like the district commissioner, is from southern Kenya. Chaf, you have got a soup. Are you given a soup? Go on, where are you, Chaf? Most of the students, such as Peter Boru, are from the local Boran tribe. Since I came to school, I did not pay any fees except these four shillings activity fees. And then you see, now, when, it's, when, it, when now you sell, you sell some cows here, you will be cutting some money from it for the school fees. And then there is some farmers who don't want their, their child are not in school, they don't want to pay. Local chiefs are responsible for collecting taxes and school fees and for the organization of national festivals. I have received 3,285 shillings. Has anyone been rude or refused to pay? Yes. Never mind about the money. Let's discuss Harambe Day. Harambe? Yes, we haven't talked about Harambe yet, have we? The committee met on two different days. <coughs> on the first day, only seven out of ten people came. We can't have these individuals pulling down the flag of Kenya. If they have problems, they should bring them to the leaders of the tribe. These backsliders don't want to discuss things with the tribe. They have no Harambe spirit. They don't help Kenya's progress. Did the committee have any other problems? No, we had no other complaints. There was some progress. 
Haram Bay is a traditional Swahili chant meaning heave ho or pull together. Jomo Kenyatta adopted it as the slogan for a united Kenya. Haram Bay Day is Independence Day. In Marsabit, it will be celebrated with political speeches and by donations and an auction in aid of the school. is going to tell us. We are willing to do as we are asked in order to help our school. Now the DC is arriving and I ask you to stand up. Now you may sit. Those who are at the back, please come this side. The elders in front come further forward.
Fellow countrymen, I haven't much to say except to thank you very much. Although we were worried at the beginning, the result has been good. What I can say is that if you continue with your present efforts, God will bless you. What you are doing is important, and when God is pleased with your efforts, he will continue to bless you. I have no doubt that the job of teaching our children is important work. It's work that will please God. Life at school is quite important because it makes us uh, uh, be connected to other people. Like now in school we have, uh, as you have stated, the rules which govern all of us. We have it in common and uh, there are some other duties which we perform. And in this we have to cooperate and learn cooperation. I come to school, let's say, just to earn my life because I know when I, get, when I, got, when I come to school I get a bit of education which is wanted for me so that when I get it, I am employed in a government post. Then when I am employed, well, I get my daily bread. That's all. I will help my people with what I get from the pay. But in fact, I, our purpose of being educated may also mean that we may get, we, I mean, we get education so that we may help, uh, help our parents as well as other people. So I think if we say this, if we say this education we, we, and we earn our life, we have got to consider that we are not being educated for our own sake but also for the rest of the community. You help yourself first, and then later you come and help the rest. How can you help the rest while no, you have not helped you yourself? yourself? You know, you are only one person. Yes. How about the suffering of other people? You will just leave Mind you, suffering. when I am saying I help myself, I am talking in terms of my family, then the second Our time when I am... very, very, very minor fraction. It is very minor fraction, I know. But yes. first I must help them, then you, you are you able to help yourself. Than no, than listen. I would like to I mean, join the university courses and... After graduating, I think I will be possible. I mean, I will still may be able for me to help my uh, country as well as the world if possible. When I just finish my education, I go back to the Manyata, get married. Then after getting married, I just... <laughs> I just All the schooling you have done is a wasting. No, no, yeah. it isn't a wasting. It I, I, I do it, I go and they lay out the my... Knowledge, but you will not have any I will apply my you. knowledge to the farming system probably in that country. What and I tell the people the goodness of the education. Yeah. I go into the reserve, preach to them. Can I say you become a teacher? That's yeah. it. And then you take that. Yeah, That's exactly. it. So you say that you, are you go and live with the, with the community, which means that, you know, this, the, in the community there, there might be some opposition. The, the, the people won't agree with you. Where there is no opposition, there is no progress, mind you. Yeah, there is no progress. Okay, I agree with that. For the people of Marsabit, a visible sign of progress is the road linking them with Nairobi. Road building has now passed 40 miles beyond Marsabit towards the Ethiopian border, taking with it a settlement of corrugated iron shacks for the road workers and their camp followers. 1967 is the first time to see motorcycle in this Marsabit. <laughs> 